cookies. Setting a cookie in Fiverr is actually pretty easy. And we have actually a cookie struct, which gives us a bunch of options that we can set on the cookie when creating one. And we have in here an example on how we can create a cookie. So let's actually copy this example. And here we are creating a cookie. So let's just update some things in here. Let's say that this cookie is going to be cookie alt. Let's rename this one to cookie alt. Let's create another cookie in here. Let's call this one cookie theme, which is going to be obviously a new cookie fiber cookie and let's say that our cookie theme dot name is gonna be app theme and then let's say that the cookie value is gonna be dark and let's also set this one to cookie theme let's not forget to send the response let's say send status fiber status okay let's initialize in here go run main dot go and let's go to the browser to inspect the cookie being created. So let's open that in here. Let's actually already open the dev tools. Let's go to application and we want to go to cookies. So we have no cookies right now. Let's hit this endpoint and we should have cookies. And we have one in here. So we have two actually. The ones that we set, which are the app theme and John. So let's now just comment these lines and see what happens when. We hit this endpoint again. So our cookies are persisted between tab refreshes. Obviously, if you are working on the web, you would also consider using local storage and then ses session storage. But then this is more front end stuff. Let's do a test in here. Let's actually close this, close this as well. I'm going to open this again and let's try to hit the endpoint and see if the cookies are there. And we don't have the cookies. So in order to prevent the browser, from losing the cookies, let's set in here, cookie off, max age, and let's say in here, 100, run this again, and let's hit the endpoint again. So this is gonna set the cookies for us, both the app theme and the John, which is the John cookie, John's cookie. So let's now close Chrome, and let's open it again. Let me open the inspector. So let's hit the endpoint, and oh, that's not gonna work, guys. Because we need to, we need to pretty much just comment this out. So on the next request to this endpoint, it's not gonna set the cookies. So let's uh, now we have the cookies in here. So what we need is to just run the endpoint again, and we do have the cookies. Let's close the browser. Let's open it again. Inspect applications. Let's hit the endpoint. And we should have one cookie in here, which is the cookie alt. And that's what we're getting here. Not only we can set cookies on the browser, but we can also get the cookies. And Fiverr makes it very simple to get the cookies that we have on the browser. We just need to use context.cookies. And then we get the cookie by the key. So let's try this out. Let's in here do some changes. Let's see the cookie of name is going to be username and the value is going to be John Doe. And the app team, let's just leave it as it is. And let's suppose that this one is the login endpoint. And then we're going to have it here, checkout endpoint. Let's return send status in here as well. And let's just read the cookies on the checkout. Let's log FMT print line username which is gonna be context cookies username and we can also pass a default value in case this cookie doesn't exist so let's see here no user found we can do the same for the app theme so let's say app theme which is gonna be app theme as well which is the naming here of the cookie uh, let's say light in case there is no cookie for it Let's restart the server and let's try to hit those endpoints again. This one's our old one, so let's just clear them and let's go to login and we get our new cookies in here. A theme dark, username John Doe. Now let's go to checkout and let's check the terminal. And that's what we get in here. We get the username cookie, which is John Doe, and then the app theme, which is dark. So no default is being used because both of those cookies are present in the browser.
And obviously, Fiverr also makes it easy to just clear the cookies on the browser. That would be a case of logout. So let's add in here app get logout endpoint. Let's use the same send status that we are using on the other two. So clear cookie, expire client cookie, or all cookies if left empty. So we're gonna clear all the existing cookies. If we leave it empty, we can specify a certain cookie to be deleted. And we could also expire multiple cookies by names. So we could select a couple of them, but not all of them. So let's make this simple. Let's just call clear cookie empty and get rid of all the cookies that we set. So let's say that on the logout context, clear cookie, and let's clear everything. So let's go to login. We have our cookies. Let's go to checkout. When we go to checkout, let me clear the terminal. We should get in here the cookies and we get them. Now we want to clear the cookies. So let's go to logout. Cannot get logout. Oh yeah, I forgot to restart the server. All right, so when we hit logout now, the cookies will be cleared. So let's hit this endpoint. And we don't have the cookies here anymore. So they have been cleared. Let's try to go, for example, to login and then we get the cookies again. If we go to logout, the cookies are cleared. All right, so kind of a bonus in here. Fiverr also gives us the cookie parser. So this method is similar to body parser, but for cookie parameters. And it's important to use the struct tag cookie and we have an example in here and in here instead of json like with body parser we have to use cookie as a struct tag so we can parse the cookie it's just like body parser the only difference is that the struct tag in here is cookie so let's actually try this let's have in here app get verify cookie let's return the same in here and let's say that we have type of cookie which is a struct and then this would have the username which is a string and the cookie here is gonna be username so let's also add in here the app theme which is also a string and in this case app theme so let's initialize in here new of cookie if error context cookie parser all error is not new return error and in here let's just print the of cookie so let's fmt print line username it's gonna be all username and then app theme it's gonna be off app theme restart the server let's hit this endpoint and see what gets console on the terminal let's actually go to login first because we don't have any cookies right now and now let's go to verify cookie and there you have it so username john doe app theme dark so that's pretty much how you do it very similar to body parser the difference is that we're using here cookie struct tag.